I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today I'm with my good friend Claude Ohanassian and Claude has a great car for you today. Claude, what'd you bring today? A 1948 Highlander Town and Country. The Chrysler Highlander. Chrysler. Town and Country. Town and Country. So come right alongside me sure. and let's feature sure. the Woody. All of this is original wood. I am the uh, third owner of this car, and everything on the car is original. Now, the great thing, in my opinion, of this car is the green color. It gives it all a very natural look to it. I'll get closer to it now, because you can see all of the woodwork and how they put these slices together back in this time frame. I mean, to make this car, it must have just taken them a ton of time. It did. And you could see the jewelry, even in the art of the mirror. You have the Mopar there on the, the lamp. Your split windshield. I'll just give you an overall shot of the front of the car. Claude, how long you had this one? Um, I've had this car for about a year, and I am the third owner of the car. Well, I can see why you would have wanted this one. Now, you said it was a Highlander. Tell me about that. Um, Chrysler made uh, a few uh, cars with a special interior. It's a Scotch interior with the knobs all being in crystal. Really? Yes. <clears throat> and this, this basically differentiated this type from other town and countries, as well as other prices. So this interior is unique to the car. Yes. I can see the lamps here. Mm -hmm. Let me show an overall shot of that. Now, did you know about this crystal knob situation mm -hmm. or was this? No, I was aware of it. And of course, when I bought the car from the former owner, um, my cousin Greg, and uh, basically uh, he explained that to me. So here's your knobs that we're talking about. Right. And the car basically has kind of what I would call a prehistoric uh, automatic transmission. You go into first gear, then you go down to second gear, take your foot off the accelerator, then put it back on and it kicks into third gear and you don't have to touch it again until you literally shut off the car. There was a lot of detail in this car. Sure was. Let me just show that dash. That's the starter to the left, that button loop. This right here. Right there, that's the starter. Now, one thing, and I, I don't know, I'm just such a car guy, but if you take a look at the bottom there, um, below there, yeah. you'll, you'll see like a little button. Yeah. Okay, right that little button is a gas cap opener. Really? Wow, talk about ahead of its time. Exactly. And even this, I'm assuming this is your heater. Yes. It is. And then, of course, that crystal knob, that's your air conditioner. Basically, it opens up the vent that's in front of the split window. And there's the crystal knob we're talking about there. You got it. Wow. Let's uh, take a look at the back. Let's take a look at the wood end of this. Sure. And I, let me just show that door, which... Uh... Now, the door, if you take a look, first of all, and I want to make this very clear. Yeah. 
All this wood is original. But I really want to draw your attention to how thick the wood is. Look how that does that. There, were, there were a lot of woodies that came out in the late 40s and all they did was put a couple panels on them and called them woodies. Not this car. Wow. All right, let's take a look uh, at the back end of it, shall we? Okay, let's, uh, can we close it? I'm going to start with the trunk open. And there's a lot of room in there. Yeah. Tell me about this carpet. This, this with the car or this was? It, it was with the car, original to the car. You could definitely fit a couple of people in there. We could have a picnic in there. <laughs> you could put a couple people. I didn't want to say that on your yeah, show. Yeah, we, could, we yeah. could get a couple it, of... It sounds like a little wise guy joke. Yeah, right. All right, let's uh, let's move your hand out of the way. Sure, because sorry. I'm getting the feeling when this thing shuts, yep. it, uh, it, it could be imposing. There it is. And that closes like so. And you can see there's a little keyhole. Let me step back from it. Notice it has the fluid drive and take a look at the back of that. Wow. Woody wow. Lots of nice little script. Right. Clearly the town and country. <laughs> I'm also seeing the exhaust with the Chrysler. Mm -hmm. The beautiful sticking out tail ends. Mm -hmm. Let's just show. And even notice how they have the wood sculpted around that piece. Mm -hmm. And then the rubber too, sealing it in. And you can see this would be the light for mm -hmm. here. There's a light to show the license plate. Your massive bumperettes. Mm -hmm. And this looks like a reverse light here. It is. It's a reverse light, and here's your gas cap, which cannot be moved without touching that button we showed earlier. That's interesting. All right. And look at the hinges. And that design was put there purposefully uh, to replicate the look of a boat. <clears throat> Let's look at the wood. How about that section right there? See the tongue and groove there? And the tongue and groove here? Look at how that... But it looks seamless. If you step back, you can't see it. See right. that? Really, really good stuff. Alex, will you help me with under the hood, please? Thank you. And all the chrome that wraps around the front. What is both oak and cherry? Wow. So first of all, a lot of room up here. I mean, there's, right. you know, you could see my whole forearm right. there. <clears throat> and the horns are here. And look at, look at the bugles on these horns. It's almost like there was this much room just for that bugle. Well, the engine was very powerful. And remember, this car probably weighed over 5,000 pounds, maybe 6,000 pounds. So let's show me that, would you? Thank you Alex. <clears throat> there. And there. Uh, looks good. Look at all of the Spitfire. Original engine, of course. Everything original. And then even like the matching number on the block here. Could you give me one favor and open that door for a second? There's something sure. I'd like to show. Sure. And there. As I'm noticing that number on the block, I'm going to come right back, but mm -hmm. I didn't want to miss this one piece. Mm -hmm. Notice right here is where you have your serial number. So your serial number is here, mm -hmm. and then you come back to the engine, you match your block, you know, you could see he's nice. Getting a little glare off that just right about there, thank you. And then let's go to the other side. The massive 
air cleaner. <laughs> Big snorkel. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That's really good. And obviously all of your carburation here. Mm -hmm. So Claude, could, while we're here, could you fire this? I'm noticing sure. the exhaust comes up and over the top. Sure. Fire it and then I'm already on this side so I can listen to the exhaust. And then when I'm back there, just uh, I'll cue you, step on the brakes for a okay. second, and then we'll give it a little rev. You got it. By the way, there's one thing, Lou, I wanted to show you. Um, the emergency brake. When it is on, this light flashes. Hold on. I don't know if you think that's cool or not, but I just thought I'd show it to you. I think it's cool for 1948. I think it's cool as hell. There's a lot of innovation in here, yeah. Yeah. All right, give okay. me just a second to come back to my engine compartment. All the mechanicals to make that car burn. Can you step on the brakes for just a second? The center. Can you put the headlights on for a minute? Ah, the center braking and then that tail lights acting as actual lights. Super smooth and quiet. Go ahead, Claude, give it a rev. All right, we'll shut that off. We'll turn the headlights off and shut that off. If you could shut the hood for me for just a second, Alex. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I want to show that. That's a big hood. Come on, sit right in there. Always fun uh, hanging out, right? It's always fun hanging out with you, Lou. <laughs> Thousand laughs. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun together. Thanks so much for sharing your car and bringing it out to the channel. It is always my honor. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you, buddy.